What's an item you've owned since childhood that holds sentimental value? Sword my grandfather took off a body in WW2. At some point about a decade ago our family contacted the family of the Japanese soldier who said they did not want it. Sunglass is given to me by Brett the Hitman Hart at a WWF wrestling show. My teddy bear. Dad was in Gibraltar when he found out he was a dad, so brought a largish teddy bear. It's now completely bald of fur, been patched up numerous times I will never part of it. BTW, I'm 67. Edited to add. Every time my parents or I visited Jib, we have brought another bear. I've a collection now. Teddy bear. I got it 42 years ago, and now it belongs to my daughter. Personally, my worn-out childhood teddy bear is silent witness to countless bedtime stories and adventures. Its frayed edges tell tales of laughter and comfort. A picture book that shows simple words like dog and chair still even has my chew marks. My blanket. It's tattered to hell but stored away. Still smells like the 1990s. I can't think of anything and that's kinda sad. The very first toy my mother gave me. Our family was at our poorest but she loved me so much she's willing to sacrifice the money to make me happy I think that's the one thing that motivated me to work harder and harder, and to finally drag our family out of the hell named poverty in the first place. Rock that I painted. My old PS1 it sounds silly, but we didn't have much money as I grew up, so it was a hand-me-down for my brother, but for the next 15 years or so it was my absolute joy and the memories I have playing Raymond and Crash Bandicoot with friends are delightful. I'm 29 now and that thing still works. I still have comics, books even teddy bears from that far away era. They do have sentimental value. I won the Pinewood Derby in 1982, I still have the trophy and the car. A teddy bear my brother bought me for Christmas when I was 15. He passed away 15 years ago, and it's something I cherish to this day. Hairbrush. To me, it represents closeness and vulnerability. I got the USS Flag GI. Joe Aircraft Carrier in 1987 for Christmas. I still have it in the box. I've lost pretty much everything that held sentimental value from childhood in a way it's a good thing you learn that it's not good for your mental health to be too attached to things the way my hoarder mom is it's out of hand, and extremely unhealthy, not just for the two of them. But it's stressful for anyone going to visit and sit amongst metric tons of clutter that should be gotten rid of. My Swiss Army knife. I got it at my 14th birthday and still carry it every day. I'm 46 now. One cherished item from my childhood that holds immense sentimental value is a small, faded teddy bear. Given to me by my grandmother, it has weathered the years alongside me, a tangible connection to the warmth and love of my early years. A wooden Fisher Price teaching clock that plays a tune called Grandfather's Clock with a loud tick-tock sound. It has a wind-up music box mechanism inside. It is beat to hell and the clock hands do not work anymore, but the music box still works. Here is an example of one, and the tune it plays https colon u dot nbj 4 xbg equals 15 there is a version that is made to look like a red painted schoolhouse, and another that is made to look like a grandfather clock with mice hanging around it. I have the latter, 